Hey, li- dude. All right, man. Hey, all right, let's get started. Hey, is there, is there anybody who uh, has done a, a global with Afghanistan either yesterday or today? Anybody, anybody do a global yet? Um, okay. Uh, hey, uh, Mr. Rashidi and Bassam, you can um, turn your cameras on and we will uh, get started. So, um, gentlemen, <laughs> nice to see you. Hello, son. So, so I want to introduce you to uh, two of my very uh, dear friends, um, who you will you will read about. I think you. I'm not sure. Uh, you did not. You have not for the first quiz. You, I don't think. I think you'll read about both of them in the second quiz. Well, you'll hear about. Mr. Rashidi um, next week because a, a colleague is coming in. Uh, R- Mr. Rashidi, R- Rich is coming in. And you've never met Rich, but yeah. awesome, you haven't met Rich either, but he's coming in class and we're gonna tell your story. Uh, and you will uh, also, you'll speak with them at different times, but um, Mr. Rashidi on the left is from uh, Afghanistan um, originally and is now living in Hauda in the Netherlands. Um, and because he left Afghanistan a year ago, September, um, when, when the government fell, and we'll, we'll talk about that next week a little bit. Um, and uh, Basim is, is in Iraq, um, is, uh, is currently in, in, are you in Erbil right now, Basim? Are you no, uh, I'm in Baghdad. He's in Baghdad. And uh, Bassem is our uh, Iraq uh, program coordinator in Iraq, or for Iraq. And Rashidi is one of our program coordinators for Afghanistan. And um, both are our dear friends. Both have very, uh, very big, big stories, big stories that you will, we will talk about. Um, but to... Uh, I, I want to I, I wanna say this because um, it goes with today's class. Today we're having a very different kind of class, and I'm really, I'm really, I'm feeling really good about it. And <laughs> get ready. Uh, and so um, <laughs> I'm just laughing at, at one of our volunteers because I'm like, I wouldn't want to volunteer today. But uh, I'm just kidding. I w- I'm just making you nervous. So... Uh, <laughs> So what I, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a different kind of class because um, what I want to do is try to build, we want to, yeah, yeah, no, it's good. What I want to do is build a little bit of ick, ick, here, yeah, bro, sit right there, and you sit there, yeah, that's better. What I want to do is build a little bit of a, just the excitement for, I want to make a case for breaking through our barriers and understanding, reaching out in a different way to the world. And I, I, I want to make a case for that, for thinking and being uh, in, in the, as a, thinking sociologically in the way that I do and the way that many of us do. Um, and make a case for how the strange and the unknown is also uh, really the fantastical, the fascinating, the interesting um, part, so many interesting pieces of life. So um, what I'd like to do, because we're starting our global dialogues, um, and uh, by the way, everyone sees this, right? We're good? 
quiz, make sure you bring your phone or your laptop or whatever, and, and we're good to go. Okay, Leah, can you go to the next slide? And by the way, the, the, the title of today's class, gentlemen, the title of today's class is World, Word Bridging, meaning like using words to build bridges. So, uh, okay, Leah, you can go to the next one. Um, we are, we are, you will have the opportunity, not all of you, because obviously it's going to depend on which group you land, land into, but um, speaking with people from uh, one of these countries. And, um, and what I want to do is, what we want to do is make a bit of a case for that. And so maybe we can just start with, uh, Bassam, just kind of start with you and say a few words about what, as the Iraq program coordinator, why and how are these dialogues, these conversations with these students, why are they so valuable for students in Iraq? What, what, is, it, what, is, what is it about that? Well, Sam, the, the title of your lecture, World of the Bridging, is the, really the best title you can put to describe what the global dialogue is. Uh, we started the global dialogues in Iraq in 2018. Uh, we started in Mosul just after Mosul was liberated from ISIS in 2017. And the students at the University of Mosul, they just wanted to tell the world what had happened to them. So they just opened up and throughout the semester, all they could talk about was ISIS, what ISIS did to them, how they lost three years of their lives, they lost three years of their education, how they lost loved ones. So. Uh, there's two points that I would like to really mention really quickly. The global dialogue is a learning process for you, for our students. Uh, as you learn about each other's culture, religion, uh, daily life, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what's the daily suffering for each side, for your part or for our part. Believe me, uh, most of our students, they know a lot about the United States because it's an important country. It's a big country. And uh, you probably, I will guess that there are some people in this room, they know nothing about Iraq. So it's your opportunity to learn, ask questions, and do not hesitate to ask any question that comes to your mind. In these, in the students who are coming to the dialogues, this, this isn't, it's not a chore for them, right? It's not, it's not just an assignment. Like it, for them, it's really something unique and special. It's, it's something unique. They, they practice their English. They ask questions that they have no answers from TV or Netflix or whatever they watch. Uh, it's an opportunity for our students to bring their voice outside of the country. And it's the best opportunity for them. Mm. Yeah, it's really, so, you know, so Lori and I were, were in Iraq visiting Bassam and talking to a lot of the students, and, uh, and it's so, it's been so, it's so valuable. I mean, I remember Bassam just speaking with people about how just happy they were to have this opportunity, and, you know, for you all, the opportunity, you know, the United States was in war, was at war in Iraq. I mean, we, we lost, you know, millions of people died in two different wars. And many of you, I know, have family members who were part of that. And, and here's, you know, your opportunity to just really touch, uh, touch some people in this other country and, and understand a little bit. So, uh, Mr. Rashidi, yeah. um, how about you, it's the young people in Afghanistan? Um, Yes, uh, it's pretty. Uh, for, let me tell you, at first, my uh, experience, what I have achieved from this dialogue. Yeah, when I came to the Netherlands, I could just uh, encounter with the people differently. Yeah, because I know I can respect if everyone with their differences, and I love them. I can love them. Yeah, it, I learned this from wooden conversation. I want the Afghan people to meet a real person in the United States and to know how kind and uh, uh, to see the differences and to the, see the similarities. Yes, uh, what is real? Yeah, not in the news, not in the media. 
Yes, uh, it is uh, pretty interesting and it's good to see each other and uh, experience new things and bridge something. Yeah, before in Afghanistan, yeah, they taught, yeah, always, yeah, the American like action movies in the United States, but when we talk to the people in person, yes, we love each other, we see the differences and how the human in Afghanistan, the civilians in Afghanistan and in the US, how they are similar to each other. Yeah, it was a pretty good experience and it's good for the Afghan people. Nowadays, it's a pretty tough situation in Afghanistan. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for Afghan people to talk to people out of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, it's good for them. So, so, so much of what you, Mr. Rashidi, are about and what, and what you just said is really building these bridges between people and different sides of the world who seem like they have nothing in common with one another. But what you see when they engage in these conversations is people really, they share so many things and so many hopes and dreams and they can laugh and they can talk and they can do all sorts of, yeah. just have this connection, yeah. right? Yeah, and also they can see the world from the eye of another person, yes. They experience, yes, uh, the people who are sitting in front of them and how they see the world and uh, they can see it and they can experience different yeah. culture, yeah. different ideas and also the similarities and differences. Yes, it's pretty. And uh, after the dialogues, you will know we can... Uh, Beside any differences we have, we can love each other. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. So if you didn't catch that, Mr. Rashidi said they can love each, you can love each other. You mean you can meet these Afghan students and love them. And can the key, I say, <laughs> the, yeah, the key. Uh, sorry, yeah, we are so far from each other. What the media says, the, so in some places of the world, they burn Quran, and in some places, the far right just say something, and also the other side, more extremist Muslims yeah. are doing something. Yeah, it's pretty just we divide us really far from each other. Yeah. When you are talking to each other, you see that uh, we don't have so many differences, uh, and we can laugh each other. Yeah, it's, there is no difference. Yeah, when you talk to people, you really see, th it, you just discover some amazing things. This is what I'm going to talk about for a few minutes. But what I want to say to you is, um, one of the uh, blessings in my life. So you maybe you guys, just stay on the screen. It's nice having your energy in here for a second. Uh, I'm gonna, I want to tell you a story. Um, when I was 20, I uh, had to take a Spanish, I was 21, I had just turned 21. Um, remember, I wasn't a very good college, a very good student at all, ever. And uh, then one day I just kind of decided I was going to get serious uh, when I was 20. And um, then when I was 21, I had to take a Spanish class. I had to take a whole year of Spanish. It's just part of being a sociology major. Hey, don't forget, um, make sure you put your phones away, all right, and laptops today in particular today. Um, so uh, I had to take this Spanish class and I had taken a year of Spanish in high school but I didn't remember anything except I don't even think I could count to three let alone to 20. And lo and behold the woman who taught my class came in and refused to say even a single word in, 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 in English. Just said she refused. And and I said, and at first I was like, oh my God, wh wh what is this? She was trying to get someone to turn the lights on and, and everything in Spanish. We didn't understand anything. By the end of that day, I had spoken in the class. I had spoken Spanish because she made us speak and she made us talk to one another. And in speaking to other people, I realized I heard a voice. I heard something come out of me in another language. And I realized that the boundary, that fear and the concern and saying the wrong thing or being laughed at or whatever it would be, it went, it went away. It wasn't there. And I, and I left it saying like, oh shit, I could learn Spanish. Like 
I really could learn Spanish. And, and so I started. And, and then I, I learned, I studied it for nine months, and then I went to study at the University of Madrid, and, which was really bold because I couldn't do it after nine months. It was terrible, right? But I didn't care. And so I didn't, all I remember is getting into a taxi. I got it, not all I remember, I remember a lot of things. I, I left the airport, I got into a taxi, and I got into a taxi with some other Americans who had been studying Spanish and, and for, you know, in one case, six years, in another case, four years, in another case, like five years, and they all were afraid to speak. And I had been studying for nine months, and I had a whole summer off, and I was rusty, and I didn't understand anything, and taxi driver said, where are you going? And I went, no one else would speak. And I went, all right, well, here's where we're going. And I said it. And the guy turned around and he said, okay. And I went, holy shit, it works. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in Spain. I just told the taxi driver where we're going in Spanish. And we're going there. And then I asked him, started asking him questions like, hey, how's the weather? How you doing? Just very basic stuff. And the guy's responding. And I'm, I didn't understand much of what he was saying because he was, you know, talking fast. And, and, I, really, and I thought it, it was so exciting. I'm going down the road going, oh, my God, I'm in this other culture. I'm in this place. I'm going to learn Spanish. And I will never forget the feeling that I had. And at that moment... In that time, by the time the day ended, because then I went and I explored the city on my own and so on, I said, this is my life. This is my life. I, I am going to spend, I'm not, I'm not going to have kids. I'm not going to spend money on all sorts of, this, this didn't come in that moment, but it came pretty quickly after that. I'm not going to spend money on things that I really don't need. Um, I'm just going to tr travel and I'm going to meet people. And so I embarked on this life that's just about meeting people and engaging people. And, and then ultimately in this, so I, I don't know how many, I, maybe I've been to about 50 countries or so, but many of them like many, many times, like, you know, eight, nine, 10 times, that kind of thing, right? Um, but these two gentlemen right here are two of the human beings who I have met along the way. And now we work together. And when you hear their stories, because you're going to hear Mr. Rashidi's story next week. You're going to read about Bassam's story, and then we'll invite him back into class. But Bassam, I don't want to say, the Bassam is, <laughs> man, Bassam, I don't know. Like this, <laughs> this man here is what he's been, who he is. He, he came he spoke once, and he used to speak in class like this. You know, he'd tell his story. And then one, he came to 119 once uh, after the accident. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we'll just call it the accident, okay? He came to 119, and he spoke on the, he, he zoomed in. And at the end of that, the class said, we got to get this guy here. And so I said, all right, let's do it. And so right there, we collected money and we raised $3,000, just like that. That's who, that's who this guy is. Class just say, yeah, here we go, $3,000, boom. Said, okay, you're coming, let's go. Let's get your visa, let's make it happen. And then he came and spoke in this class and he's been here a couple different times. But like, he is, uh, you, you, you will, when you hear his story, if you have a chance, you, you will, I don't, there aren't many bossoms in the world. There are, there are not many bossoms in the world. You will, you will be hard pressed to find another human being like this. And I get, I get to call him my friend. And I get to call him my friend because I decided when I was young, the age of most of you in this room, that I was gonna meet people all over the world. And I was going to connect with human beings. It didn't matter who they were. They could be Muslims like these two gentlemen, one from Iraq, one from Afghanistan. It doesn't matter. But I was going to meet people. And I was going to be shaped and changed and transformed by that. Mr. Rashidi is, I, I introduce him as the kindest, most gentle, most soulful human being who I have ever met in my life. And trust me, I have met human beings all over the world. 
but I've never met someone as kind and loving. You remember what he said? It's like, we're bringing together these groups so you can love one another. It's like, why not love Afghans? Why not have Afghans love Americans? Like, why not do that? And, and Bassam is, I don't know if, the, the wisest, most forgiving human being who I have ever met in my life. Not, no one even comes close to this man. And I get to call, I get to call them my friends. And, and today's class is a class to just show and demonstrate the kinds of things that we as human beings are capable of. And so the pitch for you to when you go into these global dialogues, you don't know what could change your life. Like we have students who meet in these global dialogues. They then continue friendships. And I talked to a student the other day uh, who's, who's Bassem, this is a, who is plant, wants to come over to Iraq because their friend is in Iraq, the friend who they met on the screen in here, and they want to go meet them. And you can go to Iraq. Bassem, how safe is Iraq? It's safe. I mean, you were here. You came. You saw what it's like, and it's much safer right now than 2018. And we have the Gulf soccer tournament in Basra. And, uh, nobody has come to Iraq since 1991 from all the Gulf countries, and everybody came. And uh, you can hear their testimonies about how safe Iraq is. Yeah. You know, the thing is, the most dangerous part of our trip in Iraq, I'm going to say this, and then we're going to, the most dangerous part of my trip in Iraq was visiting Bassem's mother because she, co she cooked such a big table of food. And because of I'm his friend and refused, Lori and I refused, we, when we said we were full, it was just like, you, n that's not possible. And just refused to hear it and just kept, and this guy here stopped eating early on and we just had to keep eating eating and that was by far i think that was the most dangerous part of the trip actually <laughs> to be honest so uh so listen gentlemen um we're going to you can just stand you can stay on the screen for a minute why don't you stay on the screen can we can you guys let's just do the first attendance quiz let's just do that while we're so you guys, hey, by the way, and if for some reason you can't get on, what you're going to, we're, we're changing this. Um, what, what, what we're going to do is you're just going to turn your phone around and take a selfie with you in it and one of these screens on the side, and you're going to send it to Julie at the staff email. If for some reason you can't connect to Canvas. But you should be good. So take your time. We'll leave it up there. It's on. Julie will leave it up for quite a while. Are we good? It's all happening? You know what I mean about the selfie thing, right? Very, very simple. All right. Are we good? Anybody can't do it? Anybody? You can't get on? Is your phone dead? No. Julie's going to leave it on for a little bit. Make sure. Julie, mantenga el, este, el quiz. Okay. Okay, so listen. Um, hey, wait, hang on, though. You, you, you're come, are you you're leaving? All right, okay, all right. Dude, you can go right back there, dude, right through there, man. Um, all right, so listen. One thing, I want to just say a couple things, gentlemen, if I could. Uh, if you, when you're, do, when you're doing global dialogues uh, with people, make sure you just, you know, slow your speech a little bit. We're always going to use names. It's really important to use names. And... Um, it's all good. It'll it'll work well. Okay. Hey Sam, I have just one small thing I need to add. Yeah. 
Yeah, go ahead, Basim. Okay, you know, sometimes the students at some point, they, they might be a question that be in on the dialogue and our students would have no idea what the question is talking about. It's something that's not our culture. So I would like to ask you guys, when you face a situation like this, please don't keep the dialogue silent, just jump in, start talking. Once you start talking and explaining what the question is about, our students will pick up and then they will start sharing their ideas. Sometimes they just don't know what the question means. And sometimes people are a little bit shy in, in Afghanistan, in Iraq. They can be a little bit shy to get started. They're assuming you're not. The stereotype of Penn State students is that y'all are like not shy. You're American, so like you're not shy at all. You're really out there. But, they, but they don't, they're not thinking that so many of you are international students. And by the way, when you sign up for dialogues, do not sign up with your friends. Dudes. Do not sign up with your friends, man. All right? Gentlemen, got that? Yeah. All right, man. Um, what's that? If they sign up, they have to go. If you sign, yeah, if you sign up, you have to go, but don't sign up with your friends. And if you did sign up with a bunch of your friends, then please re, re Can I really change. Can some about it real quick? What's that? Okay, so if you do sign up for a global dialogue and you know it's a global dialogue, it takes so much time to plan one of those dialogues out that if you sign up you sh try your best to go <laughs> like they're there like take the time to make sure that like you're in a quiet spot like you have a good connection like make sure you're like good to go because it takes so much time to try and reschedule one that it's like be it's beyond so hard to do that so please go to your dialogues cool cool man yeah Hey, um, can you go, so I, I, I'm saying, you know, these things about connecting. I don't think that people have to travel around the world, right? I, I don't think that's really necessary that we do that. I decided that that was going to be the life for me because I'm a sociologist and really in many ways an anthropologist and that's just what I do. Um, but we live in a global world and so yeah but we live in a global world and connecting is essential and and as the world gets smaller and we have more and more military weapons and more and more people struggling to define borders and boundaries and cultures and more and more populist leaders and people in populations succumbing to the populist leaders who are very quick to come create us and them scenarios. You know, we're the good people, and they are the bad people. Watch out for them, we're okay. And missing the idea that we're largely all the same. And when I say we're largely all the same, I say in that as someone who visits people in places that most people don't visit and speak to people that most people don't speak with and have a kind of an understanding. And so the pitch for me is always life is like, you know, I was in, I went to, uh, the first time I was in Israel, and I was staying in an Orthodox Jewish household, and 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 I wore a, uh, a kippah. I wore a yarmulke. The whole the whole. I mean, it was like I followed everything. Like those of you who understand Orthodox Judaism, and uh, and uh, and they said, "Listen, whatever you do, don't go to the Arab quarters because it's really dangerous for you." And I was with my friend who was actually a former. A uh, student of mine um, who was Jewish, this was a long time ago, and he wore a, a Star of David. And so, you know, we left and we're like, well, where's the first place we went to? The Arab quarters. It's because, like, of course, right? And once again, of course, because I knew, I knew Arabs. 
and I knew the Middle East, and I knew the Muslim world, and so I'm like, okay. So we go to the first, we were walking through the Arab quarters, and we go into the shop, and the guy, we walk in, and the guy sees my friend's Star of David, and he says, uh, are you Jewish? And he says, yeah, I'm Jewish. He says, are you Jewish? He said, oh, come, 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 and he makes us, takes us in the back room. He says, come in the back, and he pulls two chairs out, and he says, sit down, right, and he tells his uh, wife or partner or somebody to bring something. So they brought food and tea and everything. He's like, we ne- he said, I've never had a Jew in my shop. And I'm like, oh my God. Then he goes out on the street. He's like, Abdul, Abdul, Muhammad, hey, Abdul, have I got a Jew in here, right? And they all come down and they're like, to meet my friend. And they're like, okay, when you're done, you got to come to our shop. And, 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 and now we're thinking like, oh, hang on, you're we're told this is dangerous for us. And I'm like thinking it's dangerous in the way that eating at the kitchen table of Bassam's mother was dangerous. Because these guys are not going to let us leave without drinking tea and having cakes at each one of their shops. And then we go to the West Bank. Because they're like, okay, well, whatever you do, you don't go to the West Bank because that's really dangerous. It's like, well, of course, we're going to go to the West Bank. And the Arabs are saying, oh, but be careful of the Jews because the Jews hate us. And then, but we're staying with an Orthodox Jewish family, the very people who they think hate them the most. And we're saying, well, they don't really hate you. They're afraid, just like you're afraid. Everybody's afraid. And so for me, these are the kinds of experiences that so much have defined my life and the kinds of experiences that we try to bring into Social 118. Can I just show you, um, can you look at, go to the next slide? So like this, these are all the, where you see these marks are all countries in the world where we've had conversations through world and conversation. And the next slide, um, this is Social 118. This is, goes back to May of 2018. So right at this point in time, we have video views uh, from the videos we've made in here of between 80 and 85 million video views that we get from around the world. So who's watching? So in May of 2018, 165 countries had watched some, one of our videos for over an hour in the live stream. And it's like, that's pretty cool. Like every week, I get emails, we get emails from people around the world who are watching what's going on in here because they're curious. I just, I just had a, a, I got an email from this young man, high school student in Nigeria. And then last week I got a, uh, an email from a young high school, young college kid in, who's French, Mor- French Moroccan. And I just had a conversation with this Korean woman up at, in Toronto. And, like, and then we're t- talking and engaging all the time. And people are so fascinated by other human beings in the world. And we are trying to reproduce that in here. Because we can. Because why not? You know what I mean? Like, why not? So anyway, that's what we're doing. That's where we are. Okay? So, hey, uh, Bassam and Rashidi, you can stay on or you can watch. It's probably better if you chop off and watch the stream. So let me, let me say goodbye to you. We're going to have our... Go ahead, Rashidi. Wait, we can't hear you. Hang on, hang on. We can't hear you. How about now? Go ahead. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yep, we got you. Yeah, yeah. Sora is waiting just to talk. As you told me. Yeah. Sara is waiting. Ah, Sara. <laughs> hey, Sara, how are you? Yeah. This is, this is Sara, how are you? Nice to see you. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you. How are you doing? How are you doing? There you go. Okay, you can hear me now? Yeah. You got me? Hey, can you say, 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 count to, uh, say hello, Sam, how are you in Dutch? Yeah. 
Hm? Hoi, hoe gaat het? Ja? En wat do I say? Mr. Rashidi, what do I say? Yeah. Good? Good. Good. I'm good. Yeah. Good. 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 Yeah. The, so Sarah here. So they are both refugees from Afghanistan living in the Netherlands. Okay. Mr. Rashidi, which you're going to hear about, we had to get him out of Afghanistan because his life was at risk. And, um, and Sarah left everything behind. You know, when they left Afghanistan, when we called, I called, oh man. I called, we were getting ready. They had to go to the airport. And, uh, and I called Mr. Rish, I called the whole team. And I said, you got to leave your houses now and go to the airport now, now. Like not in a, two minutes, like now. They never even turned off their television. They left their home threw everything in the car to go to the airport, never turned off the television. That's it. They'll never go home. Sarah will probably never go home. And we'll, you will go home at some point. You will go back. But and, and now here she is learning Dutch in another land that is not hers as a refugee. And like, but she gets to have the, f the father of the kindest, most gentlest soul in the world. So that makes it a lot easier. Anyway, Sarah and I, we were, we were together this past June, and uh, we went shopping together, <laughs> which was awesome, by the way. Anyway, Sarah, it is nice to see you, and I send love to you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Love, love you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the class says hello also. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay, all right, gentlemen, we will see you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Yeah, mostly your friendship. All right. Hey, watch the stream, too, because there's a really cool thing happening. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Yeah. All right, so listen, let's do this. Um, hey, let's, let's do the, uh, let's do our, how about the volunteers, how about volunteers come up, okay? Who are, who are going to line up in the front. Why don't you come up now? And, and yo, volunteers, not, not y you wait. Yo, all the volunteers, like who's on? Yo, you're on. Yes, no, stand up. It takes too long. Stand in front of you where it broke. Hungarian is down there, I think, right? Oh, no, wait. You can go there. Wait, and wait. Or who, who are we? Where's ASL? Ka is Kayla here? Yo, Kayla, are you here? Wait, hang on. All right, so listen. You, you all, what you could do is maybe, so here's what's going on, y'all, right? This is pretty cool. Um, we're making, we're, you, we're, we all, as part of Social 19, we are going to make a, yeah, but hang on. Before you do it, I'm going to speak. In, I'm going to speak into the camera. Okay, um, we're all going to make a video for Thon. Okay, and I want to say something about Thon. I'm a huge. I, I am a huge fan of Thon. Okay, and and I, I want to tell you why. As a sociologist, I'm a big, huge fan of Thon. And after I say what I say, I think you all will. You ever if you if you feel some kind of you all be big fans of Thon. The best predictor of people's willingness to give their time and energy to other people is whether they've done it in the past. And it doesn't matter if the volunteering that you did in the past was for one minute or one hour or one day or whatever the case is, the best predictor of one human being
being willing to give of themselves to somebody else who needs something. It's whether you've done it in the past. And so Thon, what Thon does is the largest student-run philanthropy in the world. What Thon does is it gives many, many people the opportunity to give, to volunteer, to do something in a way that they never would have done, which means that all the hours that are given to, you know, here to this one particular cause, and it's just one cause, is exponentially multiplied in so many different ways because the people who are volunteering will then, get, it gets in your blood, and then you go out and you do it more. And so for me, as someone who's thinking about these issues and talking about these issues, and by the way, in two weeks, we're going to be having a conversation about police violence. Um, so that is not, that it will be right here in the classroom. We're going to talk about it head on. Um, but so THON for me is an opportunity. So we're going to make a video. And the video, and you all are going to be part of the video. First, it's going to be these folks up here. Because what, what, I, what I've experienced in my life as I travel around the world and say, hey, I'm from Penn State. There are a couple of things that people say. A couple of things, one thing they say is, oh, football, like, because people hear about Penn State football. But the other thing they say is that I hear, surprisingly, a lot, is about Thon. And I'm like, damn, Thon. And we at Penn State are increasingly a global community. And so what we're, we're going to make a, a, a video, and the, all these folks speak a language other than in addition to English. And some speak multiple languages. And you're only going to do that one, by the way, bro. And so, and so what we're going to do is they're going to they're send a message to thought. And the re this is cool. And you're going to hear this. And as you're listening to them, just like think how effing awesome it is that all these languages and more are spoken in this class. Like all, you are so diverse. You are, you, you are so connected and so diverse. And how amazing that is. And so they're gonna send a, a, a message to the people, to the dancers at Thon to be played up on the big screen. And then we're, you all are, we have something in store for you all, right, as well. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna go down uh, fairly uh, quickly. And you ready? You got me, and then you're going to come up here. Yeah. All right. Yo, dancers at the BJC, we have a group of students lined up to say some words to you, words of encouragement that really are coming from people all over the world because we are a global community, and I have heard things as I travel I hear so many things about Thon from people on the other side of the world and we thought you know what let's have students in at Penn State send a message to you so nice job keep up the good work and you got it all right so you're gonna start right there okay wait we need hang on hang on I got it yeah okay <laughs> สวัสดีแดนเซอร์ทุกคนขอบคุณที่มาเต้นในวันนี้แล้วก็ร่วมสร้างประสบการณ์ดีๆให้กับเด็กๆนะคะคิดว่าเป็น good work Hola valores de tan Hola de Tomasian mantenga el mágico Ander ki namaskaram mere ilane chala kashta pade pillar ki sayan chesu undaga korutunna uh, namaste. Uh, I hope uh, you have you keep up the good work and in Hindi that be Asha karte hain ki aap acha kam karte hain. Vanakam tawan dancer, samay aadringa. Continue to dance. Nangala paate teer ko. Anjaseyo. Charangsrong tawan dancer, yorobundel. Yorobundel ka jin baba bol. Baam ko percho juseyo. مرحباً بكم في البرايس في البرايس جريدن سنتر وأتمنى أن تكونون بخير. بريفيت سنترست رضوايت ماهيو يوان بلاهاي وسهو نيكراشو. سانج بيوين سامون لديهو تنكيجو بيو مافلا. سا 
Salutant, salut d'ancienne, pour me voir l'air magie. Si vous avez un peu de temps, vous avez un peu de temps. Hoi ra. Hey, yo ni jo ton emura si she ema she she taku takon lo. Ya sa sohor eftes, faer stume ya tapata po kane te ya te ya to horo to thon, asa galia se ti magia. Vitame ta in seje, smat snai che magie, pozdraviame. Thon de wujo emer, da jia hao, ching ni men ji shu san fa mei li, yu yu mo fa ba. Should I keep going? Okay. Should I keep going? Yo, Sam, what should I do? <laughs> you got this. You got this. No pressure. <laughs> that was a sound. It was like, oh my god. Yeah. Well, you got him though, right? No, no. We got him, right? Halfway through you. Okay, okay. Wait, hang on. Hang on. We got to get started again. We have, a wire, we have a wireless camera. Yo, if you didn't realize, did you realize she's doing ASL, right? American Sign Language. Yeah. And so, again, look right into the camera. Everyone in the back just screams. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Hang on, hang on. We'll get it. We'll get it. Okay, we're going to come back to him. This guy. Yo, it, yo so is, it's kind of, while well, we're waiting for the camera to come back on, um, isn't it really just awesome to hear just all the languages, right? Isn't, isn't it, ju it's so like, it's cool. Like this is the connection. You know, lang words build bridges. And... The bridges are what allow us to be, to express our humanity in the way that we can express our humanity with one another. And it's just so, it's so cool. I, I feel so honored to be able to be in a room like this with people from so many different places. And is that, are we not, are we not? <laughs> Yo, hey, can you guys turn your phones off? Make sure your, yeah, your wireless has got to be off, man. We, we can't get our camera connected and we're going to be in trouble here. Hang on. Make sure you're... Hang on. Yeah, make sure your wireless is off. <laughs> hang on, hang on. We're going to get it. So do we have to redo this? What's that? Do we have to redo it? Or we no, 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 no. We're good. <laughs> there you go. You're on, right? Okay, we're good. All right, hang on. We're going to do it over. So you, yo, so you three, make sure you look right in the camera, all right? And this guy, by the way, um, bro, what's, what's your name again? Alessandro. Aless Alessandro speaks both Greek and Italian. Can you imagine, like, Greek and Italian? Like, <laughs> I'm going to go hang out in Italy. Uh, no, but I think I'll go to Greece. Like, all right. Okay, man, you're ready. Right into the camera. You ready? Yep, you're ready. Go. Thunder, would you many how? 请你们继续散发魅力，培育魔法吧。Hello para penariton, semangat dan teruskan keajaiban yang kalian lakukan. Ciao ragazzi, grazie per tutto il vostro lavoro. Coltivate la magia. Dude, awesome man, awesome. Yeah. Dude. Dude, you guys rock. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks. You guys rock. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, okay. You can sit down. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, a round of applause for them. All right, man. Okay, gents. Are you ready? Dude. We got one more. Bro. You, 
Dude, here's how. There's the mic right there. You ready? Wait, I talked to you right earlier? All right, man. There you are. There's the mic. You can use that one. Turn it on. Yo, there you are, man. You could, you're going to hold it up, right? Like that. All right, but see that. And you're going to. You're going to take. You're going to go. Follow them, man. You, they're going to take one, two, and you're going to go three. All right, you guys are in the front. I'm in the middle. All right, you ready? And you're going to turn around and hold it to the people at the top. Yo, so listen, man. Gentlemen, go get, come around him a little bit. Listen, Caden here. We're going to... Dude, you can... When, when we do this, it'd be really cool if y'all could do that. This is the diamond, right? Especially in the midsection. We, we're going we're gonna to rock a we are. All right? Cool? And what's going to happen is... The, <laughs> The thon, during Thon, the people in Thon are going to do the we are with you. They're going to do the response when you guys do the response, okay? Is that cool? And then we're going to really make it rock. And these guys in the back are holding microphones, so you at the top, your voice is going to be... Here, come, come right around. Like do five. Dude. You ready? You got all you got all these guys. I need y'all to be with me, man. I need some all energy right, from y'all. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone in the BJC, all the Thon dancers, are you ready for a We Are chant? Social 119. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are. We are. We are. We are. We are. Thank you. You're welcome. Yo, right here. Dude, thanks, man. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks, dog. Big dog. Thanks, man. All right, Corinne and Sophia. Okay, so um, I, we need, we'd like to have another volunteer, uh, somebody who, um, somebody who speaks Arabic. Preferably a woman. It could be a guy, but it could be a guy, but it'd be nice if it's a woman. You got it? Okay, come on. All right. So, can we, can you, oh. Yeah. Can you introduce yourselves? Okay, hi, I'm Soph, and I am a junior in astrophysics. Hi, I'm Corinne, I'm a freshman in nursing. Hi, I'm Hajar, I'm a sophomore majoring in supply chain management. Awesome. So here's what I would like for you, for you all to do. I'm, you're going to learn some Arabic. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I need, who's, who's, bro. You know me, Dude, <laughs> how did I know that you speak Arabic? And your name's probably Muhammad. Or you least met, <laughs> Dude, am I right? Uh, there. Well, his is, your brother's name, of course. And your dad probably. I had a student in class. His, about three years ago, his name was, dude, Arabs. I don't know why you do this, but his name was Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. <laughs> I'm like, that's pretty awesome, actually. Dude, can you do me a favor? Okay, you go in, go in the, uh, go in that back, go through the back room. Yeah, 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 just, I'll come get you in a second. Okay. <laughs> There's a bathroom back, though, so if you're nervous and you gotta, like, you, you know, it's all good. All right, so you ready? So here's what we're going to do. Can you put these up here? Can you go ahead and, yeah. I want you to teach them, teach them like what, the, what these words mean and they're going to say it to, wait, I never got his name. We'll call him Muhammad. Dude, what's his name? What's Sultan. his name? I have no idea. 
Oh, you don't know? It's right. Sultan. Sultan? Yeah. Okay. So we'll, when Sultan comes out. So can you teach them? They're going to speak Arabic to Sultan. So teach them what this is and what it means. Okay, so the first one is marhaba, which means hi. It's marhaba. Okay, go okay, ahead. It's not marhaba or anything. Okay. So you're gonna talk, you're gonna do it. Right now. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, this is it. All right. <laughs> okay, it's marhaba. Marhaba. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Don't just say yeah, because he's <laughs> Sultan's gonna come out and he won't understand. So make sure you, she gets it right. Yeah, but I don't think she can pronounce the ha. Can you say ha? Ha, not ha. That's another letter, by the can way. You say it again. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay. At this rate, we'll be here until next Wednesday. Yeah, exactly. But all right. Okay, go ahead. So, so it's okay. marhaba. Marhaba. Mm. Go she try it again. She did it better. Oh God. No, go ahead. Try it again. Right, try it again. One more time. Okay. Marhaba. Marhaba. Try it again. Keep going. Keep Just trying. Just keep going. Okay. Marhaba. Marhaba. Mm, yeah, better. Okay, that's closer. Okay, go ahead. What's it mean? So. Oh, it means hi. Okay. And then, assalamu alaikum. Can you say that slower? <laughs> okay. Assalamu alaikum. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just try it. Can you say it one more time? I'm sorry. Assalamu. Assalamu alaikum. 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 <laughs> Go ahead. Own, come on, Corinne. Own it. Own it. <laughs> Pretend. Just think for a moment you're Arab. Just like go for it. <laughs> Can you say it one more time? I'm so sorry. Okay, it's, it's two part. Okay. Assalamu, which means peace. Okay. Alaikum for all of you guys. So, okay. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. 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 Yeah. yeah, that was good. That was good. All right. <laughs> okay. okay, try it. Okay, I need to hear you do it first. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. 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 Yeah. 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 yeah, she did it better, to be honest. No, well. she's so much better. <laughs> oh, my God. That's going to build her esteem <laughs> tremendously. Yeah. I'll take hey, it. Hey, what? Okay, and, and say again what this means to like to the class. Oh, so it's two part assalamu, which means peace, and then alaikum for all of you guys. So. And when do you use that? Oh, it. Mm, I don't know when you enter somewhere like assalamu alaikum. You just like, use it all the time. Yeah, it's like marhaba, but marhaba is more like spoken. Actually, no, there we both use. A, we use both of them to be honest, but like. But when I'm passing, when I'm when I'm passing someone who I know is Arabic, right, speaks Arabic, yeah. I pass them on the street or whatever, like even near my house, I'll just stop and say "Assalamu alaikum." Yeah, and then they will respond with the third one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so when you when you enter somewhere, you say "Assalamu alaikum," and then the people will say "Wa alaikum assalam." Go ahead. Wa. Wa alaikum. Alaikum. Assalam. Assalam. Yeah. Okay. Mm, that was good, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need that step by step that you just gave her. Okay. Wa. Okay. Wa. As. Wait. Assalamu alaikum. Oh. Wa alaikum. Wa alaikum. Assalam. Assalam. Wa. Wa. Alaikum. Alaikum. Assalam. Assalam. Yeah, which means um, uh, it's the response of assalamu alaikum, which means um, peace to you as well. Or like it goes backward. Okay. I think. No, that's it. Sure. Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. The let way me, that you're agreeing. Let me teach you something yeah. about your language. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right. So, uh, okay, and and tell them what this inshallah uh -huh. is a word. If you learn this and you're around Arabs, you will. You if you use this at any moment they will break down laughing, okay? Because it's so common. Tell them what it means. Insha'Allah. Um, um, in, in yeah, if God. Allah is God. Okay. Insha'Allah, like if, Allah is if God, wills. Like if God if wills. wanted or like. Wants it or yeah, wills wants it. it. Yeah, wants it, yeah. Like, if God, like you say when you, 
Like, like if, if God wanted that thing to happen, so you say, inshallah, it will happen. Like, if God wanted it, I think, I'm not no, sure. That, no, this is it. Yeah. The, but the idea with Arabs is you use it all, the people use it all the time. Moms use when, it all the time huh? to say no. Okay, so listen then. Yeah, so see the Arabic, who are, where's the, okay, here's the Arabic one, right? So the person I first asked to do this volunteer work, to do the, to, to speak Arabic to Thon dancers, I said, hey, so you're going to be here next Tuesday, right? Because I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. And the response was, inshallah. And I'm like, no, no, no. No inshallah right here, right now. By this the way, that was me. Yeah. 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 That was me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do it for Thon. I was too scared. <laughs> Not you. But here you are. <laughs> well, it's in class. It's different. I don't know. I was too shy. Does she seem shy? <laughs> the last thing you seem like is you're shy. Okay, so inshallah. So go ahead. Inshallah. Yeah, that was good. Insha Thank you. That you was so so good. you can say it quick. You can just say inshallah or inshallah. That was the same thing. It's the same thing? Oh, I mean, I hear people just saying it really fast, like inshallah. 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 Yeah. Yeah, or inshallah. I hear it both. But inshallah. There is really inshallah good. and then there's in sha Allah. Uh, and then there's inshallah. Uh, insha like they're both different meanings because there's a pause. Yeah. When you typed it, for example, it's two different meanings. So when I'm saying in when you when Arabs are using this, which is like all the time, right? You go into a restaurant, you order food, the waitress or waiter will say, inshallah. Like, ah, yeah, maybe I'll bring the food to you, maybe I won't. It's whatever, if God wills it. So, inshallah. Yeah. Okay, so you ready? So, we're bringing him out here. I'm speaking to him. Okay, you're going to speak to him. All right. All right. You don't want to take it. Okay, Sultan, you are ready, I'm man. You are ready. We are ready. They have, so, yeah. they have something they want us to. So Sophia, you're gonna start. Oh. She has something she wants to say to you. Okay. Um, oh my God, I forgot how she heard about that part. Okay. No, look right here, right okay. there. Okay. Yeah. No, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Okay. Um, Marheba. Marheba. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was that uh, pretty good. Yeah. Close enough. Oh, what's that? Was that good? You understood? It was close what enough. You said? I understood it. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, 100%. It's not okay. on the board. He said it back to you. Okay, the next one. Oh, I have to keep going. Okay. Um. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Dude, it worked. Yes. Oh, yes. man. Yes. You got an Arab dude to respond back that's so to cool. you. That, like, Let's that's go. a high point of my life right there. You're on a roll. You got this. Come on. Next Come one. On. You okay. got this. Okay. Um. Wait, hang on. Hang on. You got to ask him something like, hey, uh, you got to ask him some question that's like an obvious thing. Do you, like, are you gonna, are you gonna study for the, t ask him, are you gonna study for the test, for example, for the quiz in Social 19? You mean in English. In English, yeah. I can't say that. <laughs> okay. okay. Are you gonna study for the Social 119 test? Already did. No, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. Your response is that, Risa. Oh. Inshallah, I will. Yeah. Ah. You gonna pass? Inshallah. Yeah. Everything is inshallah. You gonna take a shower tomorrow? Inshallah. Yeah. You gonna eat tonight? Inshallah. Yeah. See what I mean? This yeah. is the thing. All right, Corinne, you're on, man. Marhab. Marhab to you as well. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Mm. Ask him a question. Ask him a question. Um, no, actually, say it. Say it. Say that one. You ask her a question, man. Is are you gonna pass the test? Are you gonna pass the test this? Thursday? Inshallah. Inshallah. Perfect. Dude, awesome. You're natural. Yeah, you got it. All right. You taught them pretty quick. So listen, so what, what I'm saying, like if you, when they meet somebody who's, who's speaks Arabic, yeah. right? Or who's understand. Muslim, because all Muslims would, would know this. Assalamu alaikum. Like if yeah, all these four terms, like everyone pretty, just uses them broad, uh, across all Arabs, and even Jews, right? Is that Jews and Arabs mix up so many words? But if they if they see somebody and they say Assalamu alaikum, obviously someone's gonna say Wa alaikum salam back, and that's a good thing, right? 
Like it's a greeting, am I right? Like you see someone on campus? It's a greeting, it's like peace be upon you. So, right? if you're, if so you're, it if just you're, means that I, I'm coming to you with peace. So if they're walking down College Avenue mm. and they see the two of you, maybe not the two of you, but somebody else, a, a woman in a hijab, which clearly is a head, 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 headscarf who's clearly Muslim, or you who's yeah. clearly Muslim, Arab, Arab you, you could say, go ahead and say it one more time. Assalamu alaikum. I would say alaikum assalam back. And honestly, I would feel very happy knowing that they took time out of their day or to learn that. And they know my culture and my religion. And you, you would feel, can you just say that one more time? You would feel happy. I would feel very happy, actually. I would f especially here in Penn State, you know, there's a lot of white people, right? <laughs> and not a lot of, none of them are really familiar. A majority are not familiar with. Um, what we do and in our culture and our traditions. And you, do you feel it? The, the, oh, hang on. Can you, the same way. If they, say, if they were passing you on the street and they said, Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, I would feel really happy because they know my language and the culture what we Arabs do. Mm -hmm. It would feel, make us actually feel very welcome here, like we're international students. It would actually make us feel very welcome by the people that live here. Dude, that, you, know, you hear that, right? And like, so for me, that's why I'm always using words. The other day I sent a, a, a message to Youssef, who's your, one of our attendance TAs, and I was saying something about Khaliji students. So I'm like, ah, oh, hang on a second. So I went into Google Translate and I looked up Khaliji and I found the Arabic script for Khaliji students. And then I said, hey, da, 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 and then the script and then students. Just because just I felt like, no, nah, I just want to say that in that way. And, in, and this is why, like, I'm, you know, like, like um, Ilana and I, like, we email back and forth in Spanish. You know, like, we're just like, we're just doing that. And so for me, it's just part of what I want this class to be. And so the words, what the two of you just said, is really cool. And thank the both of you, actually, for doing it. It's cool, right? Yes. Remember it. Assalamu alaikum. You got it. Yo, man. Hey, by the way, Corinne's my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Through marriage. <laughs> That's why I gave you the hardest one today. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, listen. Uh, thanks, man. Thank you. Okay. Um, can you go? Let's. Hey, by the way, at the end of class, if you, for some reason, cannot get on. We leave, we leave this open. So if you can't get on in here, if for some reason, in the, in, the, in the first part, for the first quiz, you have to take a selfie with the screen in the background and send it to Julie at the staff email, okay? So you have to do that. The second quiz, you can do the same thing, or you can just wait, and the, and the, the, the network will open up, okay? Cool, and we did not pass an attendance sheet around today, so don't worry. If you saw one going around, that's not the attendance sheet. That, it's the master attendance sheet. It's not the daily attendance sheet. Hey, so uh, we will see you on, on Thursday. Great class today. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>